So uh, right now we're looking at uh, uh, an image uh, under one of the document cameras. Again, it's five megapixel, and you can just see from the image uh, the shooting size is, is, is pretty massive. Again, it's uh, almost a foot and a half by two feet. Uh, uh, again, it's five megapixel, and we're looking right now at the, uh, the user interface, uh, the Excite HD viewer that uh, comes with every document camera, and it gives you some uh, pretty intuitive options. Uh, normally, uh, real estate's limited on a desk, so however your, your documents are positioned, it's got electronic uh, image rotation so that you can rotate the image to however it's positioned on your desk. You can easily make it right side up just with a, with a keystroke. Uh, we've got picture-in-picture -picture functionality. In this case, uh, it's just going to key off my, uh, my laptop webcam. So you can have uh, a picture-in-picture, -picture, and you can also move this picture-in-picture -picture around uh, very easily. Uh, you can, if I want to move this to the top left, we could do that. We could drag the image size a little bit larger uh, or smaller, however you want it, and save that uh, and use this for uh, distance learning. Uh, one uh, real unique functionality of this, and it's uh, almost impossible to demonstrate on a video, unfortunately, uh, is the 3D technology. But all these document cameras will allow you to display anything and annotate in 3D. Uh, and you can shoot stills in 3D and also do uh, video in 3D. And it's just a tremendous tool for student engagement because we're in a real multimedia environment and we really almost need to uh, compete with their ADD to capture their attention and to. Uh, actually entertain them while we're educating them and the 3D has uh, proven to be very successful in that. It really grabs their attention. Uh, another feature of this is you can just take an image. If you watch the top right when I take a picture of this, it automatically drops an image right here. This is a thumbnail of this that you can now real easily drag and drop uh, into a Word document or PowerPoint uh, or right onto your desktop. Real easy to use. If you want to open it up, uh, Here's the image we just took and you can blow up, you can move around in it. And again, it's just uh, very intuitive to use. Uh, another functionality we have is the, it's called the Snapset Lesson Plan Creator. So you can easily uh, develop an entire lesson plan and create a PDF immediately. So say you had a 20 page lesson plan that you tend to use repeatedly. If this just represents the first page, we just take create Snapset and that just digitally stored an image of page one. Uh, this is page two. We'll just change it around a little bit. That's page three. Page four. When you hit create snap set, you watch, it'll instantaneously generate a PDF in the top right. Uh, so uh, now we open that up, and what that is is uh, exactly what we just created. I'll make it small enough so you can see it. Uh, that's page one of the lesson plan, page two, page three, page four, instantly. So then they can post that online. If, if parents have a question, they can email it. It can be posted uh, on a website or a blog. Uh, just really a functional tool, but teachers love that because they can create a lesson once and then not have to recreate it again every, every year for every class. Uh, you, you can also, right within the user interface, go in and rename this. Uh, if you want to name this, uh, Chem Class 101, whatever you want to name it. Or you can actually uh, delete it from right in here if you don't need it. Uh, so again, it's very intuitive. You can also shoot video. Uh, all three of these document cameras have dual microphones, dual condenser mics. So wherever you are in relation to the document camera, it'll easily pick up your voice. So you can shoot videos, especially for now for distance learning and for the flipped classroom approach. Uh, this is very effective to be able to shoot a picture-in-picture -picture video so the students can see your face simultaneously while you're uh, explaining something on a document. Some of the other features uh, of this are, I'll turn it up a little bit, there's a four position LED light on this. That you can't see real well from your position, but there's a bank of LED lights right here uh, with four different levels of brighting. And again, it's LED based, so it'll last longer than a document camera and probably longer than most of us. Uh, but again, it's handy, so whatever the, the lighting conditions in your room are, you can uh, augment it with this. Uh, the, on the uh, SCZ and the SC. Uh, 5Z Duet camera. This actually flips up and can be used as a webcam. Uh, there's a little button right on the base here. You just hit flip and it will automatically invert the image so that if I was in front of this, then you can use this uh, again as a standalone webcam if you don't have access to one on, on, on your laptop. 
We'll flip it, just pop the image right back down. And uh, probably one of the, the most stunning features of this uh, is the pricing. It's uh, again, it's five megapixel, uh, some of the largest shooting area that that, that money any money can buy in a document camera, uh, and they retail anywhere in a, in a range from uh, 225 to 365. Uh, this unit here is the SC5 uh, Duo Cam, which has a, a 720p HD. Uh, document camera built right into it so you can shoot directly at yourself with this without a, an external webcam if you don't have access to one. So again, very functional. Probably the, uh, the, the strongest suit of this again is what we mentioned to start with uh, is that you can buy these through touch boards and Recordix will do the training for you either on site or through a webinar with your staff to walk right through it. Uh, and there's a, a really robust uh, annotation package with this and I'll run through some of the features. Uh, the presenter tools are, are are really simple to use. Uh, this is just a, a spotlight feature, so you can spotlight a, a certain part of a document that you want to look at. Uh, this is a magnify feature to, to blow up a certain part of an image. And again, you can change the level of magnification or the size of the circle. Uh, this is a, a shade and reveal tool, so if you're going over math problems or uh, a poem or literature, uh, we're all kind of ADD and tend to want to skip ahead to the end, so this prevents that so you can actually control focus and move through a lesson or a lesson plan uh, as you want to. And again, the shade functionality works top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right, right to left, however you need it. Uh, it's got a, a simulated laser pointer so you can point out certain things. Uh, the image effects uh, do a few things. This is a split screen so you can it actually freezes one half of the screen so one's live and, and one isn't so you can move and compare objects side by side really neat and, a, and probably a better way to do that is with a, a dollar bill let me throw that down we'll take it from split screen put this dollar bill down in the middle and you'll get a better idea of how that works uh, so we'll hit split screen, and so it's actually frozen the right portion of the screen. So then you can take that out and put something else, another dollar, another object, buy it, uh, just for comparative purposes. And then split the screen, and you've got a live view again. Uh, this is a transition uh, button, so if you're transitioning from one document to another so you don't have blur in between, you just hit that, it actually freezes the screen. You can't see it now, but I just took the dollar bill off, and then you just transition to the next document that you want to display. Uh, this just flips the screen digitally. Uh, this goes to negative mode, which kind of jumps out at you. Uh, and this goes from color to black and white, black and white to color. Oh yeah, well, well we'll annotate on something here. Uh, you can do a few things uh, with this. Uh, with annotation, you do what you expect. You can free draw on something. Uh, or you can select a tool and, and draw with an arrow. Uh, in this case, we'll, uh, we'll, set, we'll put a, a text box in there. Let's drop a text box right down, right here. This has zoomable annotation. Uh, most document cameras have annotation, and the the, the downside to it is it doesn't zoom, it doesn't stay in context when you zoom in uh, on the object that's under it. Uh, but this has a uh, full zoom, zoom annotation. Let's crank this up a little bit so you can get a better idea. Now we'll zoom in and out and you'll see this retains perspective. Normally when you zoom in on something like that, the the annotation stays the same size and the, the document under it just moves out of perspective with it. Uh, if you want to erase anything, you can erase all the objects, uh, a single object by touching it or just by touching it manually like you, uh, like you normally will with a physical eraser. Uh, let me drop down here, there, so. Oh, I think I'm trying to annotate still, there. Now we can erase. So you can erase physically like that. You can erase on 
everything you touch in, a, in an object just by touching it, make it disappear. Uh, or you can erase all the annotations on a page just by hitting all. So really a, a, a robust feature set. You can also uh, cut a part of an image out if you like. Uh, in this example, we'll, we can put a $5 bill down. Let's zoom right down on that. We'll zoom in even a little bit tighter. And we can actually increase the resolution. You have a choice of what resolutions you want on this. We'll increase the resolution. Take a real tight look at this. And you can see it really jump out. Going a little tighter. Now what you can do with this, let me straighten it up a little bit. You can take a, a picture of an entire document that you're looking at, or this allows you to select it either by hand drawing it or just by cutting out a rectangle digitally. The, the bill's kind of folded up, so it, it's a little warped now, but you'll get the idea. Uh, when you release this, you can save it as a snapshot, open it as a PDF, or copy it to a clipboard. Uh, in this case, we'll copy it to a clipboard. And let's just open up Microsoft Word for a minute and paste that in. There you go. So then you can just drop it right down any any document that you're working on. Real handy. Just to recap, these are five megapixel. Uh, uh, any kind of similar portable document camera on the market is usually one to three megapixel. So you get a, a really robust five megapixel uh, with the, the two higher end, the SC5Z and the SC5Z Duet. You've got the largest shooting area in the world in a portable document camera, 17 inches by 23 and a half, uh, and full 2D and 3D functionality, which unfortunately I can't demonstrate well here, but uh, we can if you'd like an on-site demo. Uh, we'd be glad to send the unit out with uh, 3D glasses. So if you have any questions, call Touchboards, and uh, we'll be glad to do a demo for you and help train your staff. Thanks for your time today.